Hello and welcome to Sue's resin tip of the day. Today we're going to be looking at creating lines in your resin piece, waiting for it to cure for a certain length of time and then how to create some extra lines and depth in your resin art. So we first need to begin with pouring the resin. So I'm creating a white background for this piece and so I've mixed some Lares Angel White in with the resin and then pouring it over the base of the board. There's no other additives or anything in this resin piece, just some of the Lares Angel White, which I you can see I'm spreading about with my hands and I'm going to make sure that the sides are well and truly coated so that when we come to blow the resin it flows freely over the sides. Once your board is coated, just give it a quick blast with your heat gun or blowtorch just to get rid of any bubbles on the surface. In addition to the, the Lares Angel White, I'm also using the Lares Silver Knight pigment plus the True Blue liquid pigment for the blue colour because I want the blue to be quite translucent which will make it vibrant against the white of the the background. So first I've placed down the Lares Silver Knight and as you can see I'm blowing that about with my heat gun to just help break and move that around a touch. So once you're happy with that it's then time to add the blue pigment. As you can see I'm just pouring it over the the silver and I'm trying to retain some of the negative white space. And once again I'm going to use the heat gun to help blow this around. Now I've not added any additives or anything to any of these colours so the cells and lacing that you see happening is just purely by chance with the blowing of the resin over the white and the silver night. So now it's time for the lines. I've let this sit for about 10-15 minutes because it's quite warm in my garage at the moment so it doesn't need to sit any longer. So as you can see the resin is not moving a lot so I'm using the back of the spoon to just drag some pigment across the surface of the resin. So all I've done is I've taken one drop of the blue pigment and I'm just running the spoon across the surface of the resin. Now the resin is not fully cured, it's still sticky so you will drag some of the resin from underneath the pigment and that's why you'll get some of the extra colours pulling through as well. But as you can see you can create some nice interesting shapes and lines by just dragging the spoon through the resin. Now we've left this to cure for a bit because we don't want it to flow back onto itself and we want it to create this shape and structure. And as you can see it's quite a simple design but very effective. To make thinner lines, simply just turn your spoon on its edge and then use the edge of the spoon to create some thinner lines through your resin art. It will scrape down into the resin but that's fine because it just gives you those extra lines. And it will still self level to a certain extent, however you will get some ridges showing on the surface of your resin but that's fine because it all adds to the dimension and texture of the piece. So once you're happy with those lines it's then time to finish it off. You could leave that as is but as always I like to add some acrylic diamonds just to give it some extra sparkle and as you can see I'm just following the shapes of the lines that we've just produced without going over the top with it so I'm using the spoon to just sprinkle those along some of those lines. I'm not going across all of the lines, I'm just picking out some of them to just help 
highlight that those areas and shapes. Well I hope you enjoyed this very simple resin tip of the day and it's given you some extra ideas for your resin art. If so then please give it a thumbs up or better still subscribe to my channel. I have plenty of other ideas to keep you entertained. So until the next time, bye for now.